We have just weeks to go to Election Day and several candidates are vying for votes to head down to the State House. Democratic candidate Lauren Matthews is taking on incumbent Republican candidate Nick Santucci in the race for Ohio's 64th District. 21 News is your place for politics. We're spending five minutes here at five with the candidates as we head into the fall and Nick Santucci joins me here now. Thank you for taking the time. Good to be with you. So, you know, you are finishing up your first term in office in the House of Representatives. You've tackled a variety of pieces of legislation since taking office. You have the new Ohio Home Buyer Program for uh, also advocating for American made flags to be thrown and um, rather flown at uh, public buildings. So what else would you like to accomplish if you win re-election? Yeah, thank you, Lindsay. It's good to be with you today. And I, I would say there's three major priorities that I've already worked on in the legislature and bills and things that I've introduced to try to address these, these three things. The first one I would say is human trafficking. Ohio's ranked fifth worst human trafficking state in the country. And you, you, your WFMJ just uh, did an interview or a, a story on human trafficking and, and its impact in the Mahoning Valley. Uh, I introduced a bill that would send anybody that is participating in any human trafficking activity to jail for life. I think Ohio should have a zero tolerance policy on human trafficking and I, I hope to continue to try to address that. A second thing I think is very, very important is workforce development. When we talk to the business community, they're constantly looking for qualified, capable people. I've introduced a bill to try to address that. And the third thing I would say that's very, very important for our area is beautification. Uh, we have such a unique area with so many assets, and uh, I feel like we really need to raise our standard and put our best foot forward. Property taxes, the impact of school levies, those are really big issues among the local voters here in the Valley. Are you currently working on anything to bring relief to the Valley residents when it comes to those expenses? Yes, we are. So there's a committee that's set up in Columbus right now, uh, the Ways and Means Committee. Uh, they are the tax experts in the Ohio House, and they have been meeting actively to try to come up with a, a solution to the property tax issue. Uh, I suspect that we may get something done in lame duck, which will be after the election. If not, I, I suspect the 1st of January when we're sworn in again, we'll, we'll try to address that and try to tackle some of those challenges. Do you think the state needs to make an adjustment? Do you agree with what happened in the state of Ohio when all of those appraisals were redone? Well, I think, I think the property taxes is no doubt an issue, but I think taxes and inflation as a whole is a huge problem. When I'm knocking on doors and talking to voters, that there, some voters or some constituents are telling me they can only afford one meal a day because they're on a fixed income, and it's heartbreaking. So I think it's not only property taxes we have to address, we have to look at, at the whole issue here in Ohio and, and how we solve the inflation problem that's, that's impacting families. Okay, what sets you apart from your opponent? I think experience. Uh, you know, I worked at the Youngstown Warren Regional Chamber before I became a legislator. I'm in the consulting world now. I'm now a state rep. I, I'm in, in the thick of it. Uh, I'm sitting with leaders across the state trying to solve a lot of these problems. And uh, I think re-electing me and, and sending me back to Columbus is, is going to help the Mahoning Valley and really move the needle on some of these problems that we're facing. Uh, you're the vice chairman of the House Economic and Workforce Development Committee. I'm wondering what legislation your committee is considering and how some of that could benefit the Valley. What's in the works? Well, one of the bills that I introduced that also is at my, in my committee is uh, my Community Connectors Bill, uh, really focusing on getting our young people entered into the workforce. Uh, we are seeing that 11th and 12th graders going all through high school never working, all through college never working, and then they show up to their first job and they expect to make $100,000 a year. And what we really need to do is focus on these young people, invest in them on soft skills and professional skills, and then give them the nudge out the door to, to fill, a, fill the jobs that exist here in the area. Between Trumbull, Mahoney, and Columbiana County, there's 8,000 jobs that are available. And we've got human capital here. We just have to encourage them to get into work. And so one of the bills in my committee is, is my own Community Connectors Bill, and I think it will help our young people. Do you think issue one with abortion rights in the special election will stand, or do you expect maybe some other proposals to make their way to the State House if you're reelected? What do you think is maybe going to come up in the future, and where do you also stand on abortion? Well, we... The voters have voted on that issue. Uh, my opinions, you know, I'm, I'm pro-life, but we can't, there's nothing I could do to change that. Um, and I, I believe that when we have these constitutional uh, uh, ballot initiatives, we, we've got to really read the language and understand what we're voting on. Um, I've had lots of folks reach out to me and talk to me about uh, issue one and issue two, last General Assembly or last election. 
and uh, explain to me that they wish they would have read it just a little bit more in detail because I think it's a lot more broader than, than people realized. And we have another issue one on the ballot this time around, completely different topic. But yes, like you said, voters are having some questions and wanted to make sure I got to that as well. We're out of time. Five minutes at five. Nick Santucci, thank you so much for joining Good me. Good to be here. with you. Thanks for having me. And you can check out all of our Decision 2024 5 at 5 interviews with the candidates on WFMJ.com and the 21 News app. Just go to the Decision 2024 tab and there you will find all of our coverage on local races and the issues.